Okay, so the first game that we're actually going to look at is going to be Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, just really to talk you through what sort of settings we're going to use. Because we are using the 6950, it can play, obviously, the majority of games at a decent sort of frame rate on a normal sort of, you know, screen. But on six screens, obviously, things are going to get a little bit differently. Um, so we've disabled VSync because we don't really want to be capped at 60 frames. The resolution is 5040 by 2100 on a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and multi-sample anti-aliasing we've disabled. With Ifinity, especially with six screens, it really doesn't like MSAA. Um, obviously that does hinder quality a little bit, but nothing really that you're gonna notice um, because, I mean, having six screens, it's really weighing up the pros and cons as to whether you want that little bit extra detail and quality through uh, anti-aliasing or multi-sample anti-aliasing or whether you want to be able to use six screens. I know which I prefer. Everything else though is on either very high or sort of turned on, so no problem there at all. So if we zoom you out whilst we're starting Batman Arkham Asylum, um, it's just going to sort of take us through all the initial load screens and then we can uh, actually get to the benchmark and see how this performs. Uh, I do hate games that you can't really skip, but um, we'll see some games you have to do that. Ignore the Nvidia stuff. Um, obviously we're looking at AMD today, AMD Affinity. And as I say that, lovely big Nvidia logo comes up on the screen. Um, so we're signed into Windows um, Games for Windows Live and just waiting for it to load now. Right, so click to start. We did actually try this with MSAA on and I'll be honest, it was extremely slow. Um, so looking up here and then we can go straight to benchmark. Obviously by having six screens, it's, it's a lot easier with three screens because you only get sort of the bezel cut off um, on the sides. But with this, you can see where the actual menu is loaded up. You've sort of got the bezel cut here and here. So it may be a little bit off-putting for some, but there is sort of bezel compensation that you can do within the uh, Catalyst control center as well. So just running the benchmark now, and as you can see, it it looks simply amazing. And um, the overall sort of just standing here watching it, and I'm sure you guys can sort of get that immersive feeling as well. But it just really, really looks like um, you're being taken into the game, especially where obviously the side monitors curve around ever so slightly. Um, you get that in your sort of um, peripheral vision, and uh, it's a really, really nice feature. Um, with the stand that we're actually using that these curve and aren't just flat. So I'm just going to let this run and then at the end it will tell us what the frame rate is like and uh, hopefully it will be something that's obviously a playable frame rate uh, for the majority of users. But you can see all the uh, lighting effects and all the textures and everything that's actually been put into this game is coming across really really well on the 6950 um, and even so more so on, the, uh, on using six screens. So it's just taking us through sort of certain uh, levels on the uh, on the game Batman Arkham Asylum. For those who haven't actually played it and uh, are looking at purchasing it but haven't quite made that uh, leap yet, definitely go and get it because there is a new Batman coming out this year, Batman uh, Arkham City, which uh, from what I've seen so far looks absolutely amazing. But I'd say get this first. Um, it's not an expensive game. Uh, I believe it also won Game of the Year so um, last year. So definitely go and get it. Right, benchmark results are up, and we can see the minimum is 23. You might not be able to see that because of the bezel compensation, but it does say 23. Maximum 53, giving us an average of 45. Um, for some of the graphics cards that we've tested in the past, um, that does seem quite low, but obviously we've tested graphics cards on a single monitor, and sometimes we've got up to sort of 180, 190 frames per second. So 45 on six screens, it's still a playable resolution. We do say that anything above 30, uh, is a playable resolution but obviously you do get that choice of whether you want to tweak the settings or even tweak the resolution and still use six screens by all means and um, but obviously that's entirely up to you but overall batman arkham asylum 45 frames per second on average we're happy with that